Welcome back to the Savvy Campers. Today we're going to go over the installation of the Anderson No Sway Hitch. So what we've got is a hitch uh, receiver. We've got an adjustable, um, you can adjust the height of your ball and you can also tip it that way if you need to go adjust up. So you've got your, uh, your ball and then there's a little bit of material in here which is uh, what I've read like a brake pad. So how it works is this would would be pinned on there. These chains are attached to your frame and as you turn, the more tongue weight you have on this ball with the brake pad material, the more sway control you have. So the more it says, hey, like, hey, let's not sway. So um, we've used it for a year and it's been a great hitch and we haven't had any sway problems and there's no bouncing problems. We've used the um, solid arm sway control and they when you go over a little curb it'll kind of bounce like that these have these uh, bushings that uh, are supposed to eliminate that and I think they do a pretty good job um, overall we like the hitch it's been a very good quality uh, it's obviously not broken in the first year but they have a nice warranty that they provide with the hitch and I from reading online I've read some people have had problems with their brake material they're with an older style, they've since updated it and they're providing customers with the new style um, if they do have problems. So if you do need to replace this as it is a wear part, there's a, a clip back here and then you could pop out your hitch and then put a new brake, piece of brake material in and put your hitch back in, put some tongue weight on it and uh, you have a new, pretty much a new hitch there, new sway control. So. Um, this sometimes will just leave attached to the trailer because um, you could just unpin it, put it on the ground or, or hang it and it's all all very lightweight. It, I would say this hitch total is about half the weight of other hitch other hitches that we've used. This specific model has a 2 and 5 16 ball. If you've got a 2 inch ball for maybe a boat trailer or a smaller trailer um, you can actually get it just the ball so you don't have to get these other parts if you have two trailers So anyways, let's get started on the install and if you do in fact want to learn more You can go to our website at the savvy campers check out our hitch guide Just google hitch guide the savvy campers and it'll take you to more of an explanation on what we like about this hitch And I'll also have a link to the hitch so you can go check it out for yourself Okay, so we're gonna start on our hitch install. So we've got the trailer leveled and we've got the back of the pickup backed up with our normal ball and we'll get our Anderson no sway hitch installed. Okay, so we want our hitch ball to be about an inch and inch to an inch and a half higher than this position. So I will be using the shank facing upwards and we will find the corresponding holes and put it in. Okay, we've got our hitch temporarily held in with some pins while we measure it out. It looks like we're about an inch and a half to two inches higher. Um, the trailer is down just a, just a tad right now. So once we raise that, we should be good. So we'll get the ball bolted in the four inch shank and move forward. Okay, now we're going to tighten these bolts up to 150 pounds torque. Okay, so we've got our ball on, we've got our triangle mount, mounting plate on, it's pretty stiff. So, we can move forward and mount our frame clips. So, these will mount like this, and then they will lean back, as you can see it will actually sit straight because it will sit out of a bit of an angle. So 
So now what we've done is put the chains on the triangular piece and hitched up. So we'll pull our chains back and see where our brackets will line up. Okay, so now we're going to line our brackets up. So we'll take the chain and push it through like so. And we're gonna take take our washer, throw our nut back on. So we'll tighten it so we see only one thread protruding. So right there. Perfect. Make sure the chain is straight. All right, let's do the other side. So we'll do the same deal here. Thread through. So we're going to be 28 to 29 inches back, so we're going to be right by our propane, which should be fine because it should sit about like that. But let's check our other side real quick and make sure it's level. Okay, now that we've got the brackets on and they're looking good, we're going to attach them to the frame. Okay, so we've loosely got our bolts on. So we've got our bottom bolt, top bolt, and then we've got our nuts on the other side in the bracket. We'll be a bit angled, so we'll push that back. All right, now we'll do the same for the other side. Okay, on my trailer, they're both brackets are 31 and a quarter inches back to be level. So we're gonna torque these two bolts to 90 foot pounds. Okay, we're there at 90. Do the same on the other side, and then we're about done. Okay, so we're gonna place our set screw, and when it's tight against the frame, we'll tighten it another one and a half to two rounds. And I have a little adapter on my 3 8 inch socket, so we'll get this tightened down until we feel friction. Okay, so now we'll go There's one. There's one and a half. All right, there's two. And you can drill a little pilot hole in there. Um, I will once I try this out to make sure it's all good. But anyways, you do the same on the other side. So that's how you install the Anderson No Sway Rate Distribution Hitch. And we'll hook it up and put together a little review on the hitch. If you do, in fact, want to purchase one, I'll put a link down below 